I can. <laughs> it's Shaughnessy. <laughs> <laughs> you're asked that a lot right that was awesome <laughs> so carol shot us so, so Carol is got a huge position with score which is i want to talk about that and i just want to say out loud carol was such a help to me and allowing me to be the VP of marketing for Southern Arizona. Just really I'm so honored to have that position and then taking the time to meet with me in libraries to go over um, constant contact. And thank you for that too. That was really fantastic. I know you are actually my mentor and, uh, and you've been someone that I've watched and I really esteem to be, and I hope that I can do what you're doing and so, and not only do you love business, so excited to talk, you love travel yeah. too. So who is Carol Shaughnessy? <laughs> Tell us who you are. Uh, well, I'm currently the district director for SCORE Mentors. It's a volunteer gig. Um, everybody at SCORE Mentors is a volunteer, except for maybe 20, 25 people at our national organization. Um, so I've been here almost eight years, actually eight and a half years. Um, I've held pretty much every position in the chapter and then the district director position became open um, and I was asked to take it over. So that's been fun. It's been really great to share best practices between the chapters and help give each other a leg up. It's been really wonderful. And why like Utah and Arizona? That's interesting. Why the two states? Because they didn't have anybody in Utah. <laughs> and they said, hey, Carol, you've been traveling to Utah for quite a while because I had friends up there. Um, so they just said, here, you got Utah. And that was uh, four chapters at the time, but uh, three of them were extremely small. And at some point um, after I became the district director for those chapters, National changed the minimum criteria for a chapter to have a certain number of mentors certain number of workshops, certain number of mentoring sessions each year. And so three out of the four Utah chapters did not meet those minimum qualifications and were absorbed into the Salt Lake City. So now there's just one Utah chapter. Wow, oh, very interesting. But now in COVID-19, SCORE is so important. It really, it's, it's kind of showing people that we are not only here, but we are a resource that you need. Mm -hmm. So I want to because I, I, I don't know, we would never have thought of having a pandemic, though we probably should have expected that history would repeat itself. But have you ever, can you ever remember another time where SCORE was, was uh, you know, held up so high and people now want to know more about SCORE? Well, honestly, you know, 9-11 and Hurricane Sandy we're, we're both um, on much smaller scale, of course. Uh, we have one of our uh, Southern Arizona chapter members who was in New York City, living in New York City during both of those events. And um, more so for Hurricane Sandy where uh, SCORE paid travel expenses for many mentors on the East Coast, on the East Seaboard to kind of convene in that area to help the small business go door to door because you know, people are busy and they're not like, you know, messing around on Facebook or LinkedIn. They're trying to rebuild their homes and their lives. So um, the SCORE mentors would go door to door and say, hey, this is who we are. This is how we can help. Um, we haven't been doing that here in my chapters door to door. You know, there's been a few years in between. And so many more people are online. They're a, a good chunk of their business is online. Even if their products or services are not sold online, they are marketed online. So brand awareness. That is really interesting. I didn't realize that, you know, I asked a question, but then I'm thinking kind of a like tough question. And then all of a sudden the answer is so interesting. I, I love score. You love business too. Like what, what is it like to love business? I mean, do you, all your friends love business too? And you love business and travel. <laughs> and why do you love business? Where did it come from? I don't know. I don't your know. You know, I had, um, I had an epiphany a couple of months ago where uh, before the pandemic hit, um, when I was a little kid, my dad owned a business and uh, his business partner embezzled and the IRS came calling and basically shut down the business and there went the beach house and I was eight at the time and 
Um, I think it left a very lasting impact on me. And so I've always been interested in business. I don't know why um, I just have, but I realized not that long ago that through my efforts with SCORE that I think maybe subconsciously I'm trying to save my dad's business. I'm trying to help people save their businesses so they don't have to go through the pain that my family did many, many years ago. So who knows? Wow, that is a really good, no, but that's that's good. I, I grew up in business too, but there is something, it's kind of like a sport in itself business. And you have to have yeah. all the teams set up right and the and the players and your sponsors. And so I kind of see it as a, a game. I used to say I'm on your team, but not on your payroll. Right. Actually, I still say it <laughs> when it comes to marketing and promotional products. How now how is David? Terrell? David's going well. He is leaving the chapter chair position at September 30th. He's looking forward to that, I think, just stepping away from a lot of the activity and responsibilities. So, um, you know, we've been hard at work during the pandemic with putting together a uh, webinar series with the Women's Business Center here in Tucson um, that we delivered to the city of Tucson and between the three organizations really expanded our reach and our awareness within the community. Women's Business Center, translated them in Spanish. So um, we have not offered uh, workshops or webinars in Spanish before this. So that was exciting for us to be able to do that. Very interesting. You know, I, I'm always careful because it feels like a lot of times during board meetings, I'm, I'm talking about Tucson and I don't want to be that person. You know, well, Tucson had a relationship with the Pima lot. Tucson, you know, it's, it's awkward. Because I don't know, I, I, I don't want to do that. But on the other hand, I want to bring the information yeah. to the chapter, you know, the relationship between SCORE and the library, Pima Library, Pima County Library, was, I, you, I mean, we almost want to think everyone's doing that. Mm -hmm. But that's not really the case, which is so interesting. Do you still have the, um, oh, now your camera, now you are in, interesting green. <laughs> that's weird. Isn't that weird? Having, wow. Yeah, the the um, video feed is buffering a bit. So, is it still green? Yeah. It's buffering. You sound good though. So okay. actually, you sound. Nope, you were your red, beautiful red hair. So you, you still is it, like the relationship with the library. I think that's really. Do you still have that relationship? We do, and so we, we the relationship then, is. Go ahead. No, you go. I'm sorry. This sometimes this uh, sometimes this app be live is not the best. It's like uh, you know, with every get everyone get off the internet, please. So Carol and I can talk. <laughs> right. No, I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> uh, so hello, I'm actually going to take myself, Carol. I'm going to take myself off for a minute. So you, you're going. I'm still here, but okay. I'm going to remove my video just to help the feed a little bit. Okay. Okay. Cool. And, okay. Uh, so the Pima okay. County Library has a grant through the county to deliver educational workshops. And so they uh, put out a bid for an RFP for um, anybody who is interested in putting on uh, all the different kind of workshops that you have at a library. Sometimes it's children's programs or it's business programs. And so the SCORE Southern Arizona chapter was um, granted the um, program for, geez, for the first five years, um, and that was, I think, three, we're in our second session of five years, so I think it's been uh, seven years now. Um, so we uh, deliver workshops for the in-business and startup segments of the small business community. We deliver them at the library, um, and the library helps us to promote them, which is great. Um, the, but of course, you know, the pandemic hit and the libraries have completely shut down and they're talking about reopening in very small and careful ways. We don't anticipate delivering live workshops until 2021. So um, we have delivered some on uh, webinar online, but um, not actually the same content, just uh, different topics. So. We're hoping to do that through the library. We'll, we'll see what happens. You know, nobody really knows this is unprecedented. We'll see. Uh, the topics. So. 
Yeah, it's so true. I, I I really like the simple steps to a business. Uh, we have are mm -hmm. very exciting, and I, I have to smile broadly because our president is is young. So good looking, young, not young. I don't mean to say young, young because I'm 57 or going to be 58 next month. But you know, even when you're in your your early 50s, you're younger, 40. So he's but he's younger than he's a new face of score <laughs> to say that because when people think of score, they don't think of you and I either. They're thinking of someone that's older and the retired core the what it was started out to be. But so we have here in Volusia Flagler, the ability to really recruit again mm -hmm. more. I, what is what's, I don't know. I don't want to say young because young is not a bad thing. Experienced and smart and, and brilliant, yeah. but still in business, still still really in business, yet able to donate their time and give their time. And so it's very exciting. So people come out and they see what we have just in the volunteers. They're pretty blown away. Mm hmm. I like to use the word contemporary because contemporary, you know, someone, someone who's in their 70s but is you know very active on social media, for instance, and then you can have somebody that's our age in their 50s who really has not kept up with technology and they would not be a good fit for SCORE. So it's not about age is just a number, as they say. Mm -hmm. I love it. That thank you. I knew I needed something because I'm not comfortable saying that, but but contemporary. I love that. Thank you, Carol. That's awesome. <laughs> that is really great. Score does. A, I'm continuously impressed by what they're doing. I was able to. I think I, the real real time mentoring hall that they have on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. um, Eastern time. It's two to five. Do you I do that before? Because I feel like I was part of it before. Okay. And are you part of that? Do you have that in Arizona? Uh, well, it's available nationwide. Um, and so anybody who wants to be a mentor for that program can, but there's nobody in my chapters that is part of that program. Interesting. I actually am doing it. It's an hour, yeah. so do two to three, and it's fun. And I like peeking into the other rooms and see what they're doing too. And sometimes someone may be in a uh, startup when they really should be in marketing and vice versa. I tend mm -hmm. to stay in marketing, but I think next round I'm going to do startup so I could just do something a little different since I'm familiar with startup too. But it mm -hmm. actually, I, if you're watching this now live, it's between two and five. It's really a great way. If you don't want to have to have a mentor and mm -hmm. fill out all the form, you can ask a good question. And so they, they, they're just so on top of everything that SCORE does. They really, I just love all the resources that they offer right now. It's amazing. So tell me about Tucson, Arizona. What's happening in Tucson? Are you open yet? I, I don't know. Mm, no, just last week we started, I think it was um, last Monday, the restaurants opened up and the Friday before that businesses, non-essential businesses opened up. But, you know, it depends on the industry and it depends on how comfortable people are, you know, just leaving their homes, period. Um, I, you know, went out for some retail therapy the other day, <laughs> only to find that the dressing rooms are still closed um, because they haven't figured out how to sanitize them. I mean, it's a dressing room. So um, that, that was kind of interesting. I, you know, I think that small businesses, cities, counties, feds, right struggling to figure out how to do this safely all right i'm gonna take myself off again hold on for one second i'm gonna remove myself because they have okay keep going i'm oh, sorry Okay, good, good. I hear you. So, because I, I want to hear about this, so you're t you're, you're telling me about yeah, retail. So retail has reopened. Um, you know, there's there uh, the, my limited experience with the retail, and I would go out. You know, over the last few months, I would leave the house. You know, I work from home, and it really hasn't impacted my life that much. But go out every couple of days, and you know, hunt and forage for food and alcohol, of course. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, right now in the retail that has been closed, there there's this fear 
um, of the employees and the people, the, the, the customers. Um, a lot of them are wearing masks, probably eh, I'd say 60, 70% are wearing masks, 100% for the vendors, for the, uh, the employees, they are 100% masked and some of them are gloved. Um, but there's definitely fear, apprehension of touching products or credit cards or anything along those lines. And you know, I think that's only a matter of time before people become more comfortable with the new normal and the new normal changes. It's not going to be quite so restrictive. So true. I wear the, uh, so I went out with Alana and my husband, we did some retail therapy. I, I, you know, I'm chunky. So I was, I know what kind of clothes fit me. So I actually brought them home, waited three days to try them on for like thinking they would anything on it would die and then try and actually I got lucky only one outfit I have to or one cover up I have to dress change but it was actually kind of fun and I went when the store just about opened mm -hmm. so that there wasn't they still had everything that had been sitting there right and then the sales were quite amazing really yeah. impressed with what I was able to say I'm actually going to give you a little different I bought 30% were not wearing, 30% were wearing masks. It was more like 70% not wearing uh, and where we live. And hmm. I'm finding that actually to eat uh, the grocery stores. And the other day I was like, I was the one that people are looking at because I was wearing the mask. Tori, are you, you're not mandatory either. No. All right. Is Some industries like in Arizona? It is? Oh, it, no, it's not. Depends on the industry. Yeah. These are, I, yeah, I tell you, my daughter's going crazy and it's very hard. I'm used to working at home too, but not, uh, you know, taking out the dog every hour, then cooking and cleaning and then having to cook again for her because she's skinny and needs to eat every 10 minutes <laughs> and her barging in. It's, it's not easy. And a lot of people don't talk about it or they say, you know, they tell their family to be quiet if they're on a call. But I don't believe in that. It's, you know, it's, it is what it is. So I tell if my daughter comes out and interrupts me, what's more important? I love business, but I love my daughter more. <laughs> so I think we have to be open with that. Have some balance. You really do have to have some balance. We went out to eat uh, over the weekend and we were put in a separate room, which was very nice, but none of these servers, nobody was wearing masks actually, which was confusing to me. Cause I, but again, it's not, you know, trying to figure out really what the rules are to know if they're supposed to. And, and nobody else, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, call and make us think about it. But I am finding that as careful as I wanna be, my carefulness, could easily be careless. Yeah. You know, I, my. Scary. Just a sec. Oh, sorry. He's talking to me now. Sorry. There's. Yeah. So is it hard to hear me? Yes. No, it's just the, the video feed will it's cut not. off. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> so no, it's not I just like a bad uh, remote call. I apologize. <laughs> but I love I I love following you, and I love your travel. You you post. You're actually a great Facebook poster. You you don't do selfies of yourself every two minutes, right? <laughs> you know you post relevant, fun information. I actually, if everyone posted like you, the feed on Facebook would be absolutely brilliant and and fun because I just love how you. <laughs> it's cool. Cool stuff there. So when do you think your next travel date will be? Well, Any thought? I don't know. I'm feeling pretty antsy. I'm thinking that maybe one of the Utah, <laughs> Utah chapter needs some help. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't have any immediate travel plans, but I'm certainly getting um, to get out there. Yeah. Well, when we were in Tucson, we couldn't take a cruise. So I booked a cruise for us uh, and nice. we'll be okay. 
uh, see my being careful could be carelessness, but I'm just, my parents aren't alive to tell me I can't do it <laughs> because honestly, if they were still alive, I wouldn't be going on a cruise. There's no way. Yeah. I probably wouldn't be doing half the things. I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> you actually, do you ride my a motorcycle? My face has never been so in three months. Wait, oh, I missed that. What was that? I said, my face has never been so itchy as in the last three months. <laughs> I know, I know. And the eyes too. Yeah. Do you, um, I was, wait, I had a question I asked you and I just, it just escaped me. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. I just tried to, I have, I wanted to ask you, um, oh my gosh, I have to rewind it, which we don't have time for to see. I, I, I can't have to, when I hear it over again, I'll have to, there was a question that I had. It just it went through my brain and out the door. Wow. Travel? Unbelievable. Anyway, well, I know you travel a lot and I love your travel. No, yeah. Do you ride a motorcycle? I don't. I know you do a bike, right? I bicycle, yeah. Okay. And you, a bike, and are you, are you, mountain bike no just road bike i'm gonna oh just very nice so i love seeing and you take it with you to utah does it shoot all right, so Carol, I'm going to um, I'm going to tell this app that they stink, and that this was not a good connection. So I apologize. No worries. <laughs> Maybe that I don't know if it's a time of day and everyone's doing their lunch Zoom meetings. I'm not sure. But <laughs> it's awful. But I really it was great seeing you. It was great yeah. catching up. And right. and thank you for all you do for Score because it okay. is so important. Oh, we're on the new Engage, by the way. Are you? Ooh, yes, rock. you rock. I like it. It's okay. Uh, they, <laughs> I, they put so many bells and whistles. I, I'm curious to see how many people will ring the bell and blow the whistles. But for right now, it's it's not so bad. It's it's okay. So, and I think I don't have any more of the clients that I had in Arizona. I think we cleaned that up because for a while I was still having the uh, the AZ clients, um, mm -hmm. or at least their information to. Um, so I kind of pushed that, but I, tell everyone I said, hello, who's, who's doing the marketing now? I will. Um, who is it? right now? We have a new person who just came on board. She's out of Sierra Vista. Um, and then we've got an intern who's putting together a small social media program. I'm actually working to get a district level marketing program put in place. So uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm hoping that that goes through because Every chapter, as you know, struggles with getting a, a solid marketing plan implemented. Interesting. I'm hoping that that. They just named me VP, which is very exciting. I hope that I get to one day go to one of the, um, one of the, I, I really love SCORE. I mean, I really just do. But I hope I get to go to one of the meetings. I think their national now will be virtual anyways for this year. So I look forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. They have um, three, was it three days of meetings and boy, it's like drinking from a fire hose. There's a lot of information. And then the final day, they have a big celebration, you know, awards, dinner kind of thing. Um, and it was supposed to be in Jacksonville this August. And I was going to invite you up to come to the award ceremony because you can bring somebody for that. And I know it's not that far from you, but yeah, it's going to be virtual now, yeah. unfortunately. But yeah, if you get a chance. Oh to my God, I would love that. Yeah. Oh, and they're lovely people in Jacksonville. They came down to meet with us and mm -hmm. they are fabulous. Really right. helpful. Really, right. really good. 
so I like, I like, you know, here we are lucky that we joined a lot of chambers when we could. So we're taking advantage of the memberships. Great. And I we might as well do the shout out right now that if you are in business, you could be a SCORE mentor. And it's, you know, and it's all about learning. If you're a lifelong learner and you love business sure. and education, it's for you to me. Mm -hmm. And then you can pick whatever avenue you like to go into. So we yeah. need it. Thank you, Carol. I'm sorry, I'm going to come back on just to see you for a second. And um, and let me see. Hold on for one second. This, this is this uh, today. I'm a little disappointed. You know. Happen after this. What I do is I'll put a one star, and then they'll come contact me right away. Got it. <laughs> that's the one thing. That's one way to get this customer service. You just tell them it wasn't good audio. All right, I'm not even able to come on now. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you so. Much. I'm sorry, this acted great up for us. Yep, I'm not able to come on. Uh, any parting um, words? Be safe, have fun. It's just branded solutions. I absolutely love it. Then they are a fantastic, fantastic, amazing, very powerful company. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Just thank you, thank you. Enjoy the day too.